Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today I'm going to be talking about ShibaSwap and some of the features, specifically the dig feature here that I have done some research on and kind of giving you my thoughts and opinions on it. So before we get into the video today, I do want to make sure to ask you to hit the like button to help out the YouTube algorithm in recommending this video for more people so more people can learn about ShibaSwap and how to make money online using cryptocurrency. So let's get into the video today. So ShibaSwap came out a few days ago. We did a video on it, kind of just going over some of the features. And the, one of the features that I didn't go too far in depth was uh, Dig. And it says there are tons of bones under the ground. Provide liquidity to earn bone. Now, up here at the top, you can see we have the price of Shiba, the price of Leash, and the price of Bone. Now, Bone is worth $4.80 at the time of recording this video. Um, so basically, what you can do is click on Provide Liquidity, and then once you've connected a wallet, I have my MetaMask wallet connected to it, you would go ahead and just say Add Liquidity. This takes you to here where you can search for Bone. Well, it would help if I could type it in the right order, but uh, there it was. So Bone, Shiba Swap. And if you were to go with like half of a Ethereum here, you can see you could get um, 196 Bone roughly. You know, that's with half an, half an Ethereum. So um, definitely an interesting way to go. Now, what you would do is you're basically going to yield farm with bone and you're going to earn extra bone on top of that. Now, the last I had looked, the ROI on this was over 600%. Now, we'll come back to that here in just a minute. So, with the ROI being so high, why aren't a ton of people doing this? Now, with this, you actually end up paying Ethereum transfer fees a number of times during this process. So not only are you going to have to have uh, Ethereum to sell and purchase Bone, you're going to have to pay when you go from Ethereum to Bone. Then you have to pay to go from Bone to, the, to provide the liquidity. And then there's another fee in there that you have to pay for that on top of that. So you're paying an Ethereum transfer fee three times, which can be anywhere from, you know, five to 15 to $20, you know, depending on how congested the market is at the time. So that's something to think about as well. So, you know, depending on what the fees are, you could be spending 30 to $40 in fees on top of whatever you're putting in. So if you're only thinking of putting $40 in, you might be actually spending $80. So that's something to think about. And it, it's kind of unfortunate, you know, Ethereum fees are high. Um, but you know, it is what it is. It was built on the Ethereum network. So we got to use it. But um, you know, coming back to that 600% ROI here. Now, why isn't everybody doing that? Because you know, it seems too good to be true. You know, you could put in just a, a small amount of money and be making your money back plus, you know, get into the profit area very, very quickly with no matter how much you started with, whether it was, you know, one bone, $4.80 or $48,000, you know, you're going to make that, you're going to make it into the profit zone just as fast. So definitely something really interesting. And, you know, with the yield farming, I'm not too familiar with it. And, you know, I don't, I, I've never done a lot of yield farming, but for me, I, I fully support ShibaSwap. I don't want anyone to take this the wrong way. I think Shiba and ShibaSwap and what they're doing is really interesting, but 600% seems a little unsustainable, and where they're getting all the money, you know, they say it's coming from fees and, you know, obviously the yield farming, but that seems really, really high, and I don't know how long it can last. So, you know, I wouldn't go out and put a ton and tons and tons of money into bone just specifically for that ROI. Um, as you can see, there's $1.46 billion locked on ShibaSwap now, but that is across all of the different things you can do, the dig, the fetch, the berry, um, and then wolf as well. So, you know, it doesn't give a breakdown of where that money is. My guess is a lot of it is in the berry, which we talked about more in depth in the other video, which is staking for Shiba. So, you know, the high ROI is cool, but uh, paired with the fees, and I actually had a friend who lost, you know, $30 in Ethereum transfer fees after three failed transactions to try and get more bone onto the site, and he ended up giving up and not even getting it on the site, said, you know, it's not worth it, I lost three times on Ethereum, so, 
you know, you got to think about the fees, you got to purchase the coins. And then, of course, once you go to withdraw them and your earnings, you're paying all those fees again. So there's quite a bit of fees wrapped up in it. Um, I would really think it'd be really cool if Shiba's team uh, incorporated a burn based off of fees for the Shiba coin, which I think would really help increase the value over time. But, you know, we'd have to wait and see what they do with that. And I know there has been some ideas proposed around doing a burn based on fees. So hopefully this made a little bit more sense with, uh, you know, Dig and some of the features here on ShibaSwap. If you want to see more videos on this, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't like this video, you know what to do. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment down below or check out the Discord at the link in the description below. Also, check out the join button right next to the subscribe button to join as a member to get access to exclusive perks here on Bitcoin Tips. So please like, share, and subscribe to my Bitcoin Tips YouTube channel to learn more about spending, collecting, earning, and investing different types of cryptocurrencies. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.